Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Biology Notes. Today I will discuss how mother's age is related to Down syndrome disease in a child. Here I have drawn a table showing relationship between age of mother and risk of trisomy 21 in child. Statistically, it is established that if age of mother is in between 16 to 26, then the risk of trisomy 21 in child is 4 out of 10,000. If the age is between 27 to 34, then it is 7.7 .7 out of 10,000. If the age is between 35 to 39, then it is 29 out of 10,000. If the age is between 40 to 44, then the risk is 100 out of 10,000. If the age is between 45 to 47, then the risk is 333 out of 10,000. So, the statistical data shows that as the mother's age increases, the risk of trisomy 21 or Down syndrome in child is also increases. So, there is a direct relationship exists between maternal age and probability of giving birth to an individual with trisomy 21 or Down syndrome. It is a graphical representation showing relationships between mother's age and prevalence of Down syndrome per 10,000 live births. It is also showing that as the mother's age increases, the Down syndrome cases are also increasing. Now, I will discuss why aged mothers have the high risk to give birth a Down syndrome child. During the development of a female fetus before birth, the primary oocytes in the ovary undergo meiosis 1, but stop at anaphase 1. After birth, when a female gets fertile, in each month at ovulation, the nucleus of a secondary oocyte begins the second meiotic division. But reaching to metaphase, the division again stops. Now, if a sperm penetrates the secondary oocyte, then only the remaining steps of second meiotic division is completed. So, you can understand that females take long time to complete the meiotic cell division during oogenesis. As a result, the chromosomes sometimes fail to separate during either first meiotic cell division or second meiotic cell division. That's why aged women spend long time to complete meiotic cell division and have the higher risk to produce aneuploid eggs than younger women. So this is all about relationships between mother's age and prevalence of Down syndrome in live births. If you have any query, please comment. Share the video if you like. Subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos. Stay with us. Keep watching. Thank you.